Welcome to Tennessee's okayest outdoorsman. We're going to bring a step-by-step -step saddle hunting series to the channel. Stay tuned as I step-by-step -step take you through. Let's, this saddle series, I'm going to make it um, pretty simple. Almost easy as like maybe teaching a kindergartner, not to say that you are, but I want to make it very plain, very easy to understand, okay? So in saddle hunting, the first thing obviously you're going to need is a saddle, okay? Um, and here I got the Cruiser XC, and anything that you've, uh, you look up online or whatnot, you're going to find out this is one of the most reputable brands and most comfortable okay so this is the actual saddle okay that being said this black piece here is the waist belt it'll go right around your waist and clip in just like it would a belt on your pants this only clips one way so you can't get it upside down okay so if you're in the dark fumbling it's not going to go in upside down okay so it can't get twisted and then down low you got two leg straps which will come underneath and it's gonna slide, uh, clip right in to this little side here and again it only goes one way so you can't mess it up okay all right so next part of the saddle is this part that's gray here is known as am steel it is super super strong it is known as the bridge on your saddle system okay and there is somewhat of a Prusik knot tied on this side, so you can adjust this bridge in or out. Now what that's gonna do is close or open the hips as far as how the saddle's sitting on your hips in the tree, okay? <clears throat> These are the um, bridge loops, okay? The most overlooked adjustment right here with this saddle system is this loop. That being said, if you loosen it just a little bit, a very minute amount goes a long way. You can go up and down this. So whenever um, you feel pressure on your back or you feel pressure on your feet, you can adjust this up or down to change where you feel that pressure. Okay, and that allows for that all day sit. And then we have right here, these are bright red so you can't mess them in the dark. These are the lineman's loops. This is actually where the line's gonna clip into your saddle so it can go around the tree as you climb and <clears throat> hook the rope into the other side, okay? And that, that allows you to be tied in from the bottom to the top of the tree along with what, would, what we're gonna go over next, the other part of the rope, the tether, okay? Um, but we'll get to that. And then you got Molly Loops top and bottom of this saddle. So you can hook a dump pouch. Maybe you want to slide a knife in there for emergencies. Uh, maybe you want to put a gear hanger of some sort in there or a rope, bow rope, so you can pull it up. But that's the basic anatomy of a saddle, okay? The beauty of this cruiser right here is that it has the openable pleat and that's what makes the biggest difference that being said you can see the size of it it's riding in closed as you're wearing it and then it will open up to give you that much more back support while you're hanging in the tree but that is the conclusion of the very first part um the saddle is going to be the, actually the most important part to get into saddle hunting so any questions drop them below i'll answer it um any comments, anything like that, put them below. I'll answer to get back to you as quick as I can. We'll get on to the rope section. 